Hello and welcome to the Inksoft Domain Setup Guide. So I'm just going to show you guys how to attach two different types of domains to a storefront. Uh, the first being just a regular domain all by itself. So in this case, example would be Inksoft.com. And then the other example would be adding a subdomain. So in that case, stores.inksoft.com. Stores being the subdomain. So we'll start in GoDaddy, which is what Inksoft recommends. Go to Domain and just click Manage DNS. So the first setup here is gonna be the easiest, but it's also the least flexible. So I'm talking about the A record. Uh, if you set up a domain this way, it's just gonna be the domain all by itself. So in this case, flebs.net. Um, this is the least flexible because you can't search this domain in a Google search, it won't work. So only use this if you're just gonna be sharing the direct link to the storefront with the customers. They'll click the link and then they'll land on the storefront. If you don't need it to be searchable in Google, then use the A record setup. It's just fine. Hit the pencil here. And we're going to change the value here. I'm going to delete part. And then you can find the IP address you need to type in there. Go to store admin, store settings, custom domain and SSL, and then yes. And it's right here. So I'm just going to copy that. Paste it in and then save. Okay, just going to verify my identity. Here we go. So now that I've pointed pointed this domain to Inksoft's IP address, I'm just going to type that domain in here. Validate connected already. Be sure to save and publish, super important. If you don't do this, it's not gonna work. So save and publish, scroll down and click manage SSL. Now we just need to request the SSL certificate for the storefront. So open up SSL certificates and we're gonna create a new request. Uh, use the free option here 99% of the time. Uh, the free option covers three of the four most used web protocols out there. Um, if you need to cover that fourth one, use a rapid or a wildcard. Uh, basically, certain colleges will have like a, you know, their own internal internet that is super secure and has all this security stuff on it. For that scenario, you probably want to use a rapid, but for everything else, just go with the free one. Agree. And then there's my domain. Should be in this drop down here. If you have multiple domains set up, just find your domain in this drop down and select it. Next, submit. Refresh. Click enable custom SSL. And then just in case, click this to reinstall cert to CCS. Won't always work the first time that you enable custom SSL, to, so just as a backup or just, you know, extra security, peace of mind, just click this button too. Now, when I type the domain in, voila. So next up, go ahead and clear this out. Cancel that one. Next, we're going to do a CNAME setup. So, and let me just uh, park that. I just delete it. There we go. Oh boy. So I've reset my GoDaddy here, and now I'm going to show you the second setup, which is going to be the CNAME setup, So or subdomain. Add new record. Type is going to be CNAME. 
Uh, in this case, let's use www, but you could also insert like, I'm sorry, there's no period there. You could have put shop, stores, t-shirts, whatever you want to here. And then it would be, in this case, www.flebs.net or shop.flebs.net, whatever you want. For the value, you're just going to type in stores.inksoft.com and save. Okay, verify. There we go. So now we've only set up www.flips.net. So only www.flips.net is going to work. Is going to work. If I type in flabs.net, it's not going to work. So what we have to do now is set up a forward. But you only have to do this with CNAME www. If it was CNAME stores, shop, you don't have to. You would just assume people are going to type in shop.flabs.net or stores.flabs.net. But you can forward if you want to, just so both instances work. But just know that you know you might have other domains or subdomains that you want forward to www.flebs.net or a different subdomain. So we'll go ahead and set up a forward. Going to be a domain, add forwarding. Set the HTTP dropdown to HTTPS. You want it to be permanent. And then in this case, www.flebs.net. Save. All right. There we go. So now we've forwarded flebs.net to www.flebs.net. So now if I type in flebs.net or both www.flebs.net, both will make you land on www.flebs.net. So we've got that all set up. Now we just need to request the SSL. So again, store admin, store settings, custom domain and SSL. Just type in www.flebs.net, validate, save and publish, don't forget that. And same thing, manage SSL, certificates, create new, probably want to go with free, agree, here's my domain, and then submit. Enable custom SSL, and then remember we're going to click reinstall cert to CCS just in case. Okay. After you do this, after you click the reinstall button, it might take about an hour or two for the domain to actually connect, so this probably won't work right now. Yeah, just give it an hour or two. 